Hi, this is Carehart, and what do I have on my box? Oh, not my box. I suppose my craft room could be my box. Yeah, sometimes I'm like a jack-in-the-box. I pop out of it, but most of the time I like to stay in it. No, I'm just kidding. So, I'm sorry, what do I have in my... Oh, what do I have on my desk? This is a box of supplies donated by Kim Lippincott for the foundation and wait until you see what's inside. Are you ready for this? This is kind of gonna be exciting because she's also part of the design team. And so, oh my gosh, it's still coming. Okay, here we go. So, the box is empty. And here we go. Um, she has purchases when people went to her auction and they donated items to the foundation. So these are items donated by Pearl Brown. We'll go through that. These are items donated by Kim Fuller. We'll go through that. This is a grab bag, Woven Traditions Collection. And um, I'm assuming this is from Kim. We'll see if it has a little note on it. This is her des Defy de Design Team. Uh, project. It's the altered box. We'll go through that. These are donated by Pearl Brown. Holy smack a Janoli. She made rag flag paper clips. That's exciting. I'm going to be making the little kits tonight, actually. So yours are probably going to be used because they're closest at hand. Um, and what I use those for is when I uh, put together the little thank yous for the auctions. I will put together just a couple of things, like a little thank you sticker on a little playing card, maybe a couple other things that they can use in their supplies. And then I use the rag flag paper clips, which have been donated now by several fabulous people, uh, to attach them. And it just looks cute in the bag, and it's my quick way of saying thank you and tossing in a couple extra business cards. That way, if they ever need to get a hold of us, or if they find someone who wants to be a hardest, or someone else who wants to help be an angel you know there's so many different ways that they may be able to reference with the business card if they have it on hand um, and so yeah it's the way of sharing that information and the thank you and paper clipping it together and it just looks cute and then they can reuse it in whatever they do so these are the defy team leftover supplies oh i'm guessing that's what that is and this is the fabric book from the design team this is donated by Kathy Volante, donated by Kathy, donated by Barbara Hamilton, and this one is donated by Mary Melsheimer. So let us go through in parts, and I'm assuming this is the Defy Design Team leftover supplies. So what I'm probably gonna do is put all the leftover supplies in a little grab bag, just like this, and put it in the auction. So here is the ribbon, and that's quite long too, look at that. I should probably measure that for you, but wow, that is a lot of ribbon. Hold this back up. Yeah, I'll measure that later tonight. I like to have the measurements on everything when they go in the but I suppose if it's a grab bag, I don't need to measure it, huh? And then there's some lace. Oh my goodness, Kathy, you did put a lot in there. And then some more lace. Or no, and that's not right, lace. That's the ruffly stuff. And then we'll have more ruffly stuff. Did you guys ever see how to do this with a fork? That was the coolest tip I think I'd ever seen. I don't know if it actually comes out that cool. But, you know, when you're sewing stuff and you use the fork and you flip it, and you keep sewing and you keep, but don't sew your fork, of course. Ooh, and then this super thin. Look at that beautiful doily. Oh, you know what this is going to go in? This is going to be a grab bag in a cigar box. Hold your britches. That's how that's going down.
I know, I know. You guys are like, it's shabby chic. It doesn't go in a cigar box. It wants to go in the cigar box. It told me. We had a conversation. I said, you know, do you want to go in a cigar box? And they said, yeah, I want to go in the cigar box. You know what? Get in there. Open. Oh, out, sesame. Out. It needs like a little... It wants to come out. Okay. I'm going to use this. No, no, I'm being safe. Don't worry. I'm going to use this to get that extra little bit out. There we go. So, yes, it's a dirty little cigar box, but it doesn't come off on your fingers. And we are going to put this stuff in there. This is the Woven Traditions Collection. It's still stitched in. So this is going to go at the bottom of the cigar box. Like that. Oh, let's look at it first. I suppose I should have done that. So you can see the plaid. You can see the blue and white and the green and white and the maroon and white. And it says traditional red. I don't know if I... I'd call that like barn door red or something like that. That's what it should be. All right. Put you like this and fold you back like that. Now you're all nice and safe. Tuck you to the side because I'm going to put this ribbon right there and then we'll put these little rufflies right here. See how much we can get in a cigar box. <laughs> Two for 23 cents, Muriel cigars. The light cigar, never heavy to your taste. Oh, that's funny. All right. I'm going to put you right here. Two for 23 cents. They must have been tiny. I'll put you right there. And then we've got the pink gingham. And this fabric, I don't know what to call that fabric. They've got the little rose stuff. That's all fabulous. These almost look like Christmas ornaments the way these ones are. That's cool stuff. And this. My video looks wide for some reason. I don't know why it's blacking out the top and bottom. I hope it comes across okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't that cool? Oh, this is lovely. I feel like that should be on the top. Let's just, but I don't want to crinkle it. So no, I'm not going to do that. I'll just lay you this way. And then there's this lovely sheer blue. Oh my gosh, look at this piece right here. That's fabulous. Look at the edging. Just want to touch that one. This little bit. Oh, but wait, there's this little bit. And another, there's this little bit. Oh, but wait, there's more. And this little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how you guys put up with me. I really don't. Oh, this is fun. Get this one. So someone can totally updo... This entire box filled with yummies, and we were able to get everything in the box too. And then here's the pink and the blue. Oh my gosh. And these are the leftover supplies. Um, and from Kim. Because I don't want to get them all mixed up on who made what. And it'll all go in this pretty little box. I need to do something so it's easier to get that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. So I can lift it up. Yep, that works. So if it gets stuck in there, I can just use the post-it note to lift it up. Won't worry about that, not one little bit. Are you even going to fit in the Ziploc baggie? Because that would be cool if you did. Oh, and it does. 
You know that's cool. Don't know why I care so much, but I do. Look at that. Alright, you go off to the left. And then we're going to just do a quick handful and show you what I mean by a rag flag. And yes, I can always use them. So if anybody wants to make more, that's definitely cool. Oh, yeah, definitely cool. Move this up a little so it's easier for you guys to see. So the way you make one, if you've never made one of these before, is... I'm afraid I'm going to mess that one up. Let me go with one that's a little longer. Oh, look, one fell. Look at how perfect this is. It was meant to be. Okay. So you have two ends to your paper clip. The one end on your paper clip is the one that you slide over papers, right? So, and it's the one that has two pieces to it, one, two, right? So you just slide that over your paper. Then there's the other end. That's the top. This is the part where you want to have your ribbon folded in half and it goes through the hole. Someone had a genius idea. So if you have a crochet thing, this would totally work. But then you have your little loop right there and it's folded in half right here. So you, on your loop side, you carry it through. I use two fingers to pinch the piece on the other side and then you just pull it up. Now, it depends on if your ribbon is two-sided. See how there's two sides to this ribbon? So I wanna make sure I have the pretty side out and I just pull it up. Some people put a little dabble of glue, some people don't. I don't because you never know if you wanna reuse the ribbon, right? So um, then I just leave that at the top and then you can attach multiple things together. And it's a pretty little piece. And there's a happy, happy piece right there. Anyway, I mean, I know, I know. You guys are like, what are you getting is so excited? I do. I get true on, excited about those things. They make me happy. Because it's one less thing I gotta do. And so I really, really appreciate it. And thank you, Kim, for that. Put a little note from Kim on here. So when I open it, I'll remember. I don't always remember to do that. I wish I did. I do. I wish I did. And no, the people who receive them won't know who made the particular rag flag that they have. But when I start putting them together, I'll remember. And it's another way of me intellectually just thanking you. So I appreciate it. So this is donated by Barbara. And what did she donate here? Oh, look at this, how lovely these are. So you know what we can do with these ones? These are the kinds of things that would get paper clipped um, in the little thank yous. And so Barbara, that's probably how some of these are gonna be used. Not all of them. I did run out of um, the kind that adhere um, in the thank yous. Um, but I do have a stack of them over on my left. So if anybody has project ideas for, um, I, I have a stack of these things over on my left. I order them when I run out and um, I give them in 10 packs to the hardests. Um, and then sometimes I'll put them in auctions and such. But if anybody has like a good little project, maybe the project itself is for them to make the um, holder. That might be a good idea. But yeah, I appreciate that, Barbara. Thank you. And this was donated by Kathy. Ooh, it feels heavy. Oh my gosh, somebody's going to love that. This is a stainless steel tag. I wonder. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to take a picture of this and see if my brothers can make some for me. <laughs> if I give you a template... Could you make me up a bunch of stainless steel tags from scraps? Be careful, this one has sharp edges. They're probably gonna look at me and go, um, no, I don't have time. They are crazy busy. I know, I know, I know. So this is gonna go in here. I don't know where that's gonna go, Kathy. It's gonna end up somewhere. Let me see what we have here. 
Oh, it's another one. How awesome. Sometimes these things end up in projects. Sometimes they end up in cigar boxes for the auctions. Um, so yeah, I have no idea where that's going to end up right now, but it's a little bit exciting. This one is donated by Mary. I don't want to rip your bag here. There we go. She tells me how many pieces are in there, but I can't read it right now. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you know this, but these look to be the perfect size for CDs. So, um, yeah, this is likely how that's going to be used. Is I'll use them to safely put one of the DVDs in here. Um, I call them CDs, but they're DVDs when I do the digital kits. And when people order them, I want to make sure that your DVD is all nice and safe. And look at that. It can be a pretty little thing that it slides into before the envelope to keep it protected. And then if somebody orders it and it's the only thing they order, then I make sure that it also stays stiff. So I'll put some kind of a stiffener in there for you. But how cool is that? And then they can reuse this to make a card. Oh, I like that. So thank you for that. So I'll put this over with the DVD supplies. And that's how that one will be used. Next up is donated by Kim Fuller. Let's look at these. Oh my gosh, look at these. This says, A Little Town of Bethlehem. Angels from the realms of glory and joy to the world. And they do look like they're all handmade. Isn't that coolio? And this is donated by Pearl. Oh, this is a whole stack of napkins, which is awesome sauce because I am actually going through the process of sorting really pretty napkins. And every hardest and every one who buys an angel bag, um, which are the ones that are $25 a month, uh, will receive a napkin kit unless they specifically say no napkins. Oh my gosh, look at these napkins. Now, sometimes it's a couple more than eight, sometimes, what did I say, 10? So sometimes it's eight, sometimes it's 12. It depends on how I was counting on that day. So it'll be eight to 12 napkins per kit. I have the shakes for some reason, I'm nervous. Cut videos all the time. Why am I nervous? I don't know, oh my gosh, these are amazing. You can see how quick and easy I can put together a quick little napkin pack. Let's do that real quick. I have one, two, it's a little Christmassy, three, four. Happy fall, y'all. I spelled y'all wrong for so many years. Five, do six. And I'll go into the small ones. Seven, eight, nine. Gosh, those are so cute. Ten, we'll do eleven. And then we'll, the little one kind of sort of counts. And then I'll save these ones. How many are left here? One, two, three four, five, let's do this, I'll change you out, six, and I can reduce these ones because I did 11, right, I don't want it to be all holiday, take one of the happy falls, and I'll take this pink one, seven, and then find an eight. Eight will be this one. Make sure they're all really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's eight, nine. Nine is fine. So I did all nine, and I only have one like this long one. And so this one will go into the auction 
these one will go into the packs and then um, however that goes put one of these in here and you can see how random that is right in the auction as well um, I'll probably mention the angel bags but I would prefer that people buy their angel bags instead of monthly at the auction, which will be much more mystery because I won't take the time to um, fill the mystery bags uh, in the same way at the auctions. But if you do it in the monthly one, it'll still be mystery, but it'll be much more of a um, customized mystery because you get the opportunity to answer the questionnaire. And so I hope I remember on all these videos to put the links. If not, somebody write in comments. Oh, you forgot to put the link. That'd be helpful. So this is going to go over to go. And this is going to go into the auction. And since we're talking auction, let's take a... P oh, wait. We're still with what Pearl sent. I'm so anxious to go through what Kim made. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so these are donated by Pearl. And she's got a whole pile of fun stuff. Look at this. So she has itty bitty little forks that can be altered. Um, I was just talking to my nephew and he was talking about how he was wire wrapping spoons. I so wish I could see what he was talking about. I'd love to see a piece of his artwork. And then she's got a little pile of buttons. Some green glitter. Bling things. A whole lot of bling things, actually. Let's put these back in the bag, because the bling doesn't want to get out of the bag. Actually, don't let the glitter out of the bag. Oh my gosh, look how cool this glitter is. You guys see that? It's like purple, and oh, I gotta open this up so you can see. Look at that glitter. That one's amazing. Yep, it's risky for me to open it, that's for sure. And then in here, these are great for if you're making shakers. So I'm going to store this aside. I have a shaker collection that I'm going to set aside. Um, look at these. These are adhesive glitter shapes. Isn't that cute? It's not a bad idea for when making shape, uh, shaker cards to put something thick like that so the stuff has room to move. Especially if you're doing it in the Ziploc baggy style. Um, that I'm going to show them how to do. Look at these frames, how these can be repurposed. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. Oh, you know what? I think this is going to be a project that I craft out for a couple of people to show them how to make their own boxes and this can be the lid. Um, that is really cool. I can definitely cut the pieces to size. This is going to be an upcoming kit, that's for sure. So that's going off to the side. And then this is going in the bling bag. We've got some stickers. Oh, wait, more for the bling bag. And then this is a big sticker set. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think that should, even though it's paper, it goes in the bling bag because they're all a bunch of dots. So it goes in the bling bag. Oh, it's Scrabble tiles. Okay, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, this is my favorite game in the whole flipping world. I love Scrabble. Jolie's britches. You got some britches. Hold your britches. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be the funniest card if the card said, hold your britches. I'll be right there. And then um, these are little die cuts. This looks Christmassy. Oh, it is. It says, let it snow. Um, but these letters are adorable, aren't they? I suppose it doesn't have to be, but... Then a vellum quote pack. Let's read a couple. Cherish, love, smile, live, laugh, love with, with a thankful heart. Thinking of you. Happy anniversary. Good luck. Congratulations. The world reward of a thing well done is to have done it. Oh my gosh, these are great quotes. And it's always cool. It totally is always cool to share your supplies when you've taken care of them. And even if you've cut a couple things off like that, these go great in the kits and the packs and the things that people can use. I have no problem with that. And then these are little doodads. Those are will inspire people to make those too. How cute those are. You. This is when I go to the store and I'm like, I could totally make that. I don't buy it. 
and then I never make it, and I just love it. It looks like handmade paper on the back, a thicker paper right in front that's square. So it's a tattered edge, which you could do with, you know, uh, the edge of scissors or something, and then something plastic on the top that just looks adorable. And here you have family reunion. These. Oh, they don't want to come out. There we go. They are sticky, so I don't want to mess with them. Look, it says family reunion right there. Clay letters. A cute little Jolie sticker. Croissants and, and baguettes. Croissant, baguette. Okay, here we go. And then family is a sheltering tree. I am an important branch on my family tree. Our roots. How sweet this one is. It's made by the robin's nest. And then stuff like this, fantabulous. Um, because for the people who are visually challenged, um, they can be sent textured items. And for the folks who do mixed media arts, these textured items are fun and easy for them to add a lot of interest to the work that they create. Um, they can spray through them. They can use it as a resist. Every single one of the hardests um, should have a jelly plate by now, unless they're brand new. Um, if you are not brand new and you don't have a jelly plate, send me, not me, send an email to wish at disabledartist.org and put it on your wish list. And that's how we track wishes now. Oh my gosh, look at this key and key lock. And then you've got the cup of, cup of joe. Oh, look at these. These would, this would be, I, I'm definitely going to split, split these out to a few different people because these will make great resists. Look at that. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Okay. Again, why do you guys put up with me? I don't know. All right, you go here. When I say resist, so if you make your own spray inks, because I haven't mailed them off to the folks yet, or if you have spray, um, then you can lay that down over a paper and spray around it, and what's left will um, not show up. So it'll, it'll mask that area. If you're doing it with a jelly plate, you can lay it onto the jelly plate. At the same time as you're kind of decorating this item, you're also using it as um, something where when you roll the paper over it, these are thin enough, most of them are thin enough to do a good job when you roll that paper over and be able to have um, an image on there. And these all should be smaller than the jelly plates they have. Let me put these in separate little baggies. Right here. These little stickers are so freaking cute. All right, and all the stickers have their place. This one I'm gonna put with the, oh, don't put metal on your jelly plate. Stick to stuff that won't cut your jelly plate because the ones everybody has, um, if it's a store-bought jelly plate, you can't remelt it and redo it. If you made your own, you can do that. I have a video for that. So I'll put those in there too. All right, with that said, let's get to the fun stuff that Kim made. Let, first off, I don't want to forget to do this. I'm going to put the word Kim. Oh my gosh. I already love it. Look at that. Already love oh. She has a little rhinestone buckle. It's a lace pocket. I don't know if you can see this. There's like little oh sequins right there. It dangles right here. Then you have um, a beautiful little trim. I don't know if they connect with each other or not. They might be the same. They might not be. This fabric book also has a little ribbon right here. This book is A Sewer's Dream. So let me show you what my brain has already seen. These are like hat pins. I don't know if they actually are hat pins, but you can see right here. I don't want to poke myself 
We know I'm good at that. Okay, there we go. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hat pins in here. And then there's like a little blue flower right there. When you turn the page, oops, did I do that? I did. Hold up. Sorry, y'all. There we go. She did a much better job of that than I did. And then she's got the little tiny needles right here. Safety pins and the beautiful decorations on each one of the okay. pins. I'm back. I mean, not to you guys. I was always here. So she has safety pins right there. And then look at how cool that is. You can see the different layers. I mean, each one of these pages you just want to look at for a little bit because they're that cool. Oh, and there's two pockets. She has buttons in this pocket. This looks like fine thread in silver in that pocket. And then a pencil. Oh my gosh, I want to make one of these books for myself now. Because right now, the way I have my sewing supplies... It's loosely in this jar. Look at that. So I sew. I gotta put this back in there. Wanna make something like that? Ugh. Cause it looks amazing and it looks I, I just I just love it. Okay. So I'm still going. Then she's got embroidery floss little button card by Lamode, and then a little clip, which I've seen some people effectively use this instead of the safe, instead of the, the ball headed pin thingies. And then look at the trim at the bottom. Oh my gosh. I just love this book. Oh, and then this piece can be popped out to use because it has one of those bulb head pins right there. And then look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's on a mesh. It's just so perfect. And then she's got a little cluster right here. If you've never made clusters, fabric clusters, paper clusters, whatever the cluster is, they're just a little bits of heaven. Flip this back over and look. That's the size. All of the design team items do start at $20 in the auction. That's because of how much is already into them. Isn't that cool? Look at these scissors. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? It says USA on them. And then the little scissors holder right here. I'm assuming those are for thread, but look at the layers that she has on this book. It's magnificent, isn't it? And then this is baby rickrack. I just saw the cutest um, image on Rick Rack on how to turn it into little birds. Then three yards of seam tape. Oh, I'm yawning. I need a nap. Kim Lippincott, Vintage Rose Creations by Kim. Thank you for putting that in there. I really appreciate that. And then here she has a little bit of lace on the last page. Let's put this back in here just beautifully done in your pockets and then here's the last page and I'm gonna put this right here too just too cool way too cool you know what and I'm gonna put it in here so it stays and I'll look at the the side her little charm has scissors a little sewing machine and little buttons. It's so cute. All right. And now you are going to dance in the bag. Now it's going into the auction. And here is the Devi De Defi. This is how we pronounce it. Defi. D A F I stands for Disabled Artists Foundation Incorporated. And so, but we pronounce it defy because many of the hardest defy the odds. 
So this is the altered box with the fairy theme. Oh my holy smack of Janolis, isn't this cute? So it's all delicate up at the top here. You have the flowers, you have the pretty little fairy. You've got the um, sequins that are stitched together right there, corners with little flowers, flower clusters. On the side you have the sequins go around the edge for the love of handmade things. Isn't it fabulous? And look, she has a peekaboo at the bottom, the little fairy at the bottom. It's in the shape of a piano. I almost want to give it keys right there, you know, the little black and white keys. Okay. We open it up and you have a little fairy right there. You got some pink fabric, a standing flower. Just adorable, the two pink flowers down at the bottom there. And then let's take a peek at the stuff that she has on the inside. Oh, goodness, there's more of that fabulous trim. And yep, it's as sequiny and bright as you see. This is a piece that looks like it's from uh, someone's wedding dress. Another one. Oh my gosh, and then look at these yummies on the inside. Just quietly enjoying them. They almost look like pinwheels. It makes me want to have one of those snacks. The time it took to actually retrieve these off of something vintage, I bet, was quite a while. This looks like it's also from a wedding piece. These two amazing doilies. And because she's in the theme of the fairy, this is, it says capture the magic and it has two little wings, a little dress and a star. On the inside down at the bottom, you can actually see that there is a little flower and a little fairy lady, little fairy looking up at a bee. That's how tiny the fairy is. And then the flowers on the corner there. All too sweet and all too cool. So please join me in thanking the fabulous Kim Lippincott, Kim Fuller, Pearl Brown, Kathy, uh, Creative Memories, and am I forgetting? Oh, and Barbara Hamilton. So that was absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much, all of you, for making such a difference in the lives of the artists. Take care.